under the President's direction and working with Congress in pursuit of the country's energy security agenda, the Department of Energy acknowledges its responsibility in helping ensure the efficient and sustainable exploration, development, and utilization of our indigenous energy, including Malampaya. The DOE has meticulously evaluated the SC38 consortium, the assessment encompassed legal, technical, and financial capabilities, and confirmed the consortium's capacity to sustain the production operation and meets its obligations under the renewal agreement. Thank you uh, very much uh, to our Executive Secretary, uh, Luke Persumi. Please, uh, take, please take your seat. Uh, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, uh, Speaker Martin Romaldes. Of course, uh, Energy Secretary, uh, Secretary Popo Lutilia. Uh, the other members of the Cabinet. The PNOC Exploration uh, President, uh, Franz Joseph uh, Alvarez and uh, Prime Infrastructure Capital Incorporated Chairman, Ricky Rason, uh, fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today we mark a very significant milestone as we pursue another huge endeavor in that, that, that will promise the monumental rewards for our country and for our people. It holds the key to our drive towards energy security and is calculated to greatly advance the nation's energy interests. It is consistent with the Constitution and our state policy of hastening discovery and production of the country's indigenous petroleum. This policy was first laid down in 1972 through Presidential Decree Number 87, issued by then former President Ferdinand E. Marcos. As we renew service contract uh, 38, we optimistically look forward to the continued production and utilization of the remaining reserves of the Malampaya gas field, as well as further exploration and development of its untapped potential. From the discovery of the gas field more than three decades ago and the project's commissioning in 2001, the Malampaya Deep Water Gas to Power Project has been a boon for our country, providing 20% of Luzon's energy needs. Through the project, the government was able to generate $374 billion in revenues. In 2022 alone, the project has yielded about $26 billion in government revenues. Because of the, because of the contract renewal, the government will continue to generate revenues from the project through a favorable sharing scheme with a private sector partner and the government. Needless to say, this project will reduce our dependence on oil imports and will ensure a more stable supply of cleaner energy from an indigenous local source. We are confident in the capability and comp competence of the SC38 consortium in handling this project you, you have committed yourself to a firm work program geared towards developing resources both in the existing and nearby gas fields to provide incremental production. So once again, we look to the DOE uh, to see that the project's implementation is strictly monitored and to make sure that the consortium's goals are always aligned with Philippine national interests. As I sign this SC38 renewal agreement, we also lay stress on the administration's commitment to actively pursuing the exploration, development, and utilization of the country's indigenous energy resources and to optimize our energy mix. Finally, we thank our partners in the private sector for keeping faith in the government's resolve. Through our strategic partnerships, we will remain on course, stay the course towards the attainment of our goals of total electrification of our country and of energy adequacy, reliability and affordability, all for the betterment of the lives of the ordinary Filipino. Maraming salamat, congratulations sa inyong lahat at mabuhay ang sambayan ng Pilipinas. 